All right, what are we looking at? This is my basic overall power rack, okay? I got inspiration from those buff guys or do-it-yourself dude or whatever that guy's name is. Um, and a couple other ones that I Googled and found. They're all pretty much the same. But here's what I did differently. Those do-it-yourself dude guys, they use um, those metal brackets, okay? And they don't glue, which to me is not very good, okay? And you'll see because they shake and wobble and they're not secure. Okay, so my overall rack is basically the two sides, the left and the right, all right? They're glued and screwed together. The center pieces that join them, okay, this top piece, it's a two by six, I think. And then in the back, is it just a two by four? And then in the front is another two by six. Now these aren't screwed because I can take this thing apart, okay? And if I have to disassemble this thing, I got the two side pieces. They can just move as one unit, and then I can quickly reassemble this thing. One thing I did to shore this thing up was I put these two by fours up to the top of these rafters here in the basement, and you see the other side, they're screwed in, okay? In which, see, I'll try to shake this thing. It doesn't move, man. That's all I needed to do, all right? And obviously, you want the front bottom open, okay? But there's enough weight on this thing. It isn't moving. The only time it ever does move is when I um, do the low cable pulley rows. But I made a piece to go across the bottom. And I'll show you. Right. I made this little board that just latches into the front. Okay. So if I'm pulling on the bottom of those things, it can't pull out. Okay. That's it. Other than that, this thing does not move at all. I was going to put some more supports up top, but I don't even really need to. Okay. Now, my sides are basically look like the do-it-yourself Duke guys. All right. Here's a better maybe view. Okay. So they got the four by fours going across the top. All right. And obviously you want this to be all the way there. Don't try to put it in here. It won't, you know, it's just weak because I do chin-ups and notice I have a bar up there and I just connected my bar with those pipe straps. And then I left those little red little cap washers that come with them. So there's no edge on there. You don't need those caps on those. Okay. And then you can't really see it, but I have these rubber things up there where I also put my neutral grip bar so it doesn't roll around so I can do neutral grip chin ups. And then, like I said, these angles right here are just like do it yourself dukes, but mine are screwed in with deck screws and they're glued, not that crappy metal stuff that they use. That stuff is garbage. I actually did it and then I had to take it apart because it's so crappy. Okay, now the bottom of mine is just a two by four because you don't need a four by four on the bottom. All right, it sits on the floor. The only thing critical of this measurement is you want it far enough out here so that you can latch this thing on there like I did if you have to, and you want it to be stable. And then the front, okay, has to be out far enough so when you're in the rack you can actually step in and get a rack of bar on your shoulders without stepping on that okay and I actually learned that the hard way I had to replace the bottom pieces all right so this rack is 48 inches wide which worked out for these bars I have okay because that um, neutral grip bar I have it actually fits perfectly in there okay so the flanges don't get in the way so that just kind of worked out, luckily. Okay, this thing is 58 inches deep. It is 87 and a half inches tall. The distance between the front and back uprights are exactly three feet. These mitered supports are 10 inches on the outside diameter. And these holes are exactly four and a half inches apart. Holes are exactly four and a half inches apart. Okay, and they're eight inch and an eighth diameter. And I only have 13 holes. I could have went probably higher and lower. You can pretty much go all the way to the top. And then you can put a bar across and just do chin-ups there. 